I have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip here. I'm going to show you or give you several solutions to fix a Z Flip that is constantly rebooting, okay? For example, maybe it reboots like every hour. Maybe it reboots or restarts two times a day. Maybe this past hour it just restarted randomly three times in a row, okay? Anyways, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of solutions. Now, the first thing that we want to do is make sure that you don't have any kind of case on here or any magnet. If you have any kind of magnet or anything like that, I mean, something like a magnet like this on this case here. Go ahead and take the case off or take the magnet off, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do, now it's possible that your power button could be like jammed or stuck sometimes. So what you want to do is just go ahead and press the power button in and out really quickly like this. Just loosen it up a little bit. Do it about like 30, 40, or 50 times. Okay, just in case if it's the power button that's actually causing the issue itself. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and log into the phone and we're going to go into the settings and we're going to make sure that the auto restart is off. Okay, so go into settings here and then from settings you can just go to device care. Here it is, device care. Top right hand side is three dots. Tap on that, tap on advanced and then make sure this auto restart is toggled off, okay? Now the next thing we wanna do is make sure that your phone is uh, up to date, um, the, has the uh, latest software update. So again, swipe up, we're gonna go into settings here. And then from settings, we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to near the very bottom, third to the bottom is the software update. Tap on that, tap on download and install, okay? If there's an update, great. Go ahead and download it and install it. Once it's downloaded, Download it and installed. We're going to move to the next step. Even if you are up to the latest software update, it doesn't matter. We're still going to move to the next step. Okay, so the next step here now is what we're going to do is we're going to force it to restart. Do it, and you're not going to lose any information doing this. Okay, to force the restart, what we're going to do it clears the memory and everything out. So, what we're going to do is press and hold two buttons volume down, power button. Okay, press and hold until we see the Samsung logo appear, then let go. Okay, so volume down, power button. Let's do it together. Same time. Ready. One, two, three, press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. Don't worry about what's happening to my screen. I'm still holding on both buttons, the volume down and power button. I'm just waiting for that Samsung logo to appear so I can go ahead and let go. Still holding. Still holding, there it is, go ahead and let go. Now, wait for the boot back up. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and do, Play around with your phone for like an hour or a day or whenever it typically usually like restarts, okay? Because this very well, these um, first like three methods very well may have like fixed the issue. So, so keep playing with it and hopefully you're back and up, up and running. Now, if it does restart, then the next, step, the next thing we want to do is try to wipe your cache partition. And how to do that is what we can do is go ahead and turn your phone off. To turn the phone off, you have to press, uh, you press the volume... Um, uh, volume down and power button. Just press and hold until the power off menu appears. Then we're going to go ahead and shut off the phone first. Put my password in to totally shut off my phone. Once it's off, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to press and hold two buttons again, but this time it's going to be the, volume, uh, the power button and volume up. Press and hold both buttons until we see the Samsung logo and then let go. That will boot us up into the Android recovery menu where we can select to wipe cache partition okay so let's do it together phone is off right now volume up power button ready one two three press and hold both buttons at the same time do not let go until we see that samsung logo there it is go ahead and let go wiping the cache partition only wipes like temporary internet files okay so you're not gonna you're not gonna lose really any data or nothing okay it's perfectly safe it's good to do it every two weeks to one month to clear out your phone so your phone's always running at um, optimal performance Anyways, from here, we get like a, a list of things to do. Use the volume down or up rockers to go move up or down. But we're going to go down to where it says wipe cache partition. To select it, tap on the power button. This, saying, this is saying it cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to do it? We're going to click on the volume down to go to yes. And then we're going to tap on the power button. And then right away, wipe cache partition is complete. It's pretty quick. Now it's done. Now it brings us back up to reboot system now tap the ok button or tap the power button to ok that or select it and let's wait for it to boot back up and hopefully that solved your issue 
Now, what you should do technically is play with your phone for another like hour or a, the whole, full entire day until it usually like, restarts again. And hopefully, you're up and running. If it's still down, if it's still like restarting all of a sudden, we're going to go ahead and move to the next step. Okay, so the next step here now, it's a good possibility that the reason why your phone is uh, restarting randomly is because of an app that is rogue, okay? So what you need to do is when you start having these restart issues, what you can do is just uninstall the last one, the last um, third-party app that you downloaded, okay? Another thing that you can do too is you can go into safe mode here. If I go to bring up the power off menu again, volume down, power button, press and hold both buttons. Oop, press and hold both buttons power off menu here if I press and hold the power off it says safe mode here I can tap on safe mode and then let me put my password in and now what it's going to do is going to boot into safe mode I'll know that I'm safe mode on the bottom left hand side here it says safe mode now the thing is you know if if you're one of those people where your phone is like restarting like once or twice or maybe three times like every hour then this may be good for you to go into safe mode because what you can do in safe mode is just stay in a safe mode. Don't don't do anything else. And if it doesn't reboot within that like one hour or so, then you know like 90% sure that the culprit really is an app that you downloaded. So then you have to go ahead and uninstall the app. Uh, you know, when it started having the issues, you may have to like do trial and error. Maybe it was this app, uh, then delete it. And then it was still restarting. Then you got to delete like another app. And take note, sometimes like I had an issue before where it was WhatsApp that was the issue. So I uninstalled WhatsApp, then it wasn't restarting no more. But then I went and reinstalled WhatsApp and the problem never came back, okay? Anyways, I'm in safe mode now. Bottom left-hand side says safe mode. And then from here, if you wish, you can go ahead and uninstall apps. It doesn't matter if you're in safe mode or not. You can just press and hold like an app that you wanna un uninstall and just look for uninstall and tap on uninstall and tap on okay and it's gonna go ahead and uninstall it. Now to get out of safe mode, is pretty easy just go back go back to your power off menu and just go ahead and restart it once it boots back up you will be out of safe mode okay so the last thing I have for you which is one that I don't really recommend to do it but you may have no choice is basically doing a factory reset a factory reset will erase everything all of your data on the phone so you will lose your photos your videos your documents all your passwords Everything will be long gone as if you bought the phone brand new and took it out of the box and you had to start off with, you know, choosing your language, then choosing your Wi-Fi, putting in your password. Anyways, the, if you're going to do a factory reset, if you have something important on here, back it up onto a computer or whatnot, okay? Anyways, to do a factory reset, it's pretty simple. If you're already logged in, you can just swipe up. You can just go into settings here. And then from settings, we just go down to general management. General management. And then from here, it says reset right there. Tap on reset. And then right here, it says factory data reset. Tap on that. Scroll down. Tap on reset. And then once it's done uh, resetting, and um, once it's done with the factory re uh, reset, it'll go ahead and boot your phone back up, and you'll be at the um, very beginning part where you have to select your language and start from the very beginning. So if you have important information, back it up now before you do this, okay? Anyways, Give me a thumbs up if it worked for you. Give me a thumbs down if it didn't. Uh, let me know if it worked for you. Let me know which step that you think worked for you so others can see as well, okay? Good luck.